Have you ever wondered about the wisdom and secrets hidden in our past? Let's embark on a journey through the corridors of history where we uncover the ancient art of healing, cupping. Originating thousands of years ago, this practice has transcended borders, with its roots spread across diverse cultures, from the Egyptians to the Chinese. A testament to the enduring wisdom of our ancestors, cupping has withstood the test of time. Cupping, a practice as old as time, holds the power to heal and rejuvenate. But what is cupping, you may ask? Cupping is a remarkable process that involves placing special cups on your skin to create a gentle suction. This suction, like a reverse massage, pulls your skin upwards, increasing blood flow and relieving pain. It's akin to a deep tissue massage but without the pressure of hands. The purpose? To invigorate your body's natural healing processes and stimulate your energy flow. A subtle yet powerful method, cupping can be one's journey towards holistic health. Now, the real question lies in the benefits. What can cupping do for you? Cupping, the ancient art of healing, can be a game changer. For those who suffer from pain or inflammation, it's a beacon of relief. It enhances blood flow, promoting healing and relaxation. And it doesn't stop there. It contributes to overall well-being, making it a vital player in the field of alternative medicine. Indeed, the benefits of cupping go beyond the physical, journeying into the realm of mental and emotional well-being. To sum it all up, let's revisit the key points. Cupping, a time-honored practice, has been healing bodies and minds since ancient times. It's more than just a process, it's an experience that involves the careful placement of cups on your body, creating a vacuum that promotes healing. The benefits are profound, from pain relief to promoting relaxation. It's worth considering cupping as part of your wellness journey, Cupping, an ancient art offering a path to wellness. A treasure from the past for a healthier today and tomorrow.